Well, good morning all Long Island Relic Recovery fans and metal detectors everywhere. I'm back out of my field where I got my crotal bell and my compass and everything else. So, it's been very tough going this year for, uh, for me for permissions. I've been getting the permissions, but a lot of the places I'm going to are full of fill. So, you know, when you just this is a good place to come when you're just looking for a, a few good uh, hours to dig and hopefully we'll find something. But I think today I'm just gonna like photo or film every uh, every single plug that I dig. Let's want to be entertaining to see all the uh, crap I dig. All right, so hopefully more later, and uh, we'll see what happens. Boy, I'm telling you, <laughs> every time you get a good signal, you get that big old root. So I poked around a little bit, and I pulled it out, and there it sits. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to figure it out together. Oh, that's a nice little buckle right there. Get in the shade so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. That's a nice little hit. Okay. Ah. Uh, Get in the shade. There we go. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep going. See if we can get some more oldies and goodies. More later. All right. Next signal: a scratchy, poppy little 71, 74. Don't ordinarily dig them, but in this field, it very well turns out to be flat buttons or a uh, Indian head. This time, it's not. Wah, wah, wah. It's cut to be good. That's a nice bottle cap. I don't even know what the hell cot is. Well, it's still sort of history. I'll look it up later. Keep going. Okay, next signal. Again, that same little poppy sort of thing, and I pulled up a nice little, uh, a nice little flat button. I don't think there's any writing on it. And it doesn't have a shank, but still, it's got some age. All right, we're gonna keep going. More later. Oh, I might be able to get some writing off the back of it. Okay, cool. Okay, More next later. one. Kind of deep, and I pulled this out, which is really just a piece of lead, otherwise known as the silly putty of the 1800s. Um, but it's interesting. It was definitely made into something. I don't think a shim or anything like that, and it seems to have had a hole drilled in the top of it right here. So I guess we'll clean that up and add it to my things our ancestors did with lead collection. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, my bust, I promised every hole and then I closed it up before I re remembered that I was filming. I don't usually film too much anymore because, uh, you know, I actually used to do it just to entertain Jeffy. But now that he's down in North Carolina, shout out to Jeffy. So I closed it up before I showed you what it was. It's a uh, great big old iron something or other. Might be wind up being a wrench because it's a little flat. I don't think it's just a typical cotter pin or something like that. And it doesn't seem to have a screw on the end. Might turn out to be hand forged. Might turn out to be some sort of wrench. But uh, we'll see. All right, we're gonna keep going. All right. right, next plug. Only down about four inches, but there's a lot of trash in this field, so. I figured I would just go get it. Wah, wah, wah. A pencil eraser, that little ring of brass. Gave a poppy little high tone in between a whole bunch of grunting. So I pulled a nail out of there and this. Oh, there's a treasure. Okay, we'll keep going.